We have 414 films from 86 different countries this year. And one of those can't miss foreign films is by the director of Bend It Like Beckham. Make a wish, Peter. Blinded by the Light, set in Thatcher's England, tells the story of a Pakistani immigrant who discovers the music of Bruce Springsteen. He really finds a great sense of relief and a great sense of accomplishment um, when he discovers this music. It's a terrific film. We're so, so excited to have the director, Grandir Chada, um, and her star uh, here to present the film. Just kidding and go. On June 2nd, Regina Hall comes to Seattle for a SIF tribute. We'll be talking to her about her career, which has spanned almost 30 years. There will also be a screening of her latest film, Support the Girls. She stars as the manager of a, of a restaurant, but there's this family feeling about it. It's gonna be great to have her introduce it. I'm thinking zombies. A last minute addition is Jim Jarmusch's The Dead Don't Die, a zombie flick starring Bill Murray, Adam Driver, and Chloe Sevigny. And the zombies just want to do whatever it was that they were doing before they died. It's a dry, quirky, funny, um, with some really great zombie action scenes. And then it's dying. She doesn't know, so you can't say anything. Finally, closing night of Sith brings a sentimental film with a surprising star. The Farewell is an amazing film. I saw it in Sundance. Oh. <laughs> and Aquafina is spectacular in this. And so far, we've seen her in very comedic roles, very sidekick. In this film, she plays Billy, who is unable to sort of control her emotions, and she just loves her grandmother so much. The, the East-West divide is really real, but it's also really funny and poignant and an amazing story of family and the sort of the, the lies that you, that you tell each other, but it's okay. I really want to see that Jim Jarmusch movie. It looks really good. And there's like 400 films at the festival this year, so tons to choose from. Right. Well, SIF has a website so you can find out where those 400 films are playing and how to get tickets. And of course, we've got a link from our website, king5evening.com.